with her panting, it's starting to get annoying. Yeah, I know. What the fool? No, not that way. y'all doing saturday y'all saturday i'm gonna jump on this horror stream here with some salad hill a short message ah yes relaxing all right let's go i don't know if it'll be relaxing but we're, we're, we're gonna play it that's what's gonna happen and trust me we are both going to be just a shock when we see how bad it is we'll be shocked equally or how good it is Shocked equally. Equals in shocks. Mm. Glad to see y'all could join me today, as usual. What is this? Psychotaneous pictures of suicide, self harm, abuse. Oh, okay. Well, if y'all have trigger warnings, here's y'all's chance. Uh, suicide, self harm, abuse, trauma, and bullying. Uh, that some people may find distressing. Makers do not intend whatsoever to encourage or make light of self-harm or suicide. Uh, if you feel that you are at risk of suicide, health harm, blah, 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 they give you all the, the uh, hotlines and stuff like that. Mm. Lifelines. All right, cool. Boop. Uh, let's see, trolls. Switch smartphone app. Pull out, put away smartphone. Switch app, left, right. Turn around during escape only. Move camera. Confirm. Return. Okay, that's pretty simple. Options. Uh, Y'all can hear it properly. controls uh up down inverted subtitles on okay cool there 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 so yep hold on let me see something here box chat there we go i haven't seen that in forever put that right there so i can get right there good view of chat yeah, I can see y'all now. New game. What do we got? Oh, same thing again. Seeking a connection with others is a sign of weakness. It's running away. No, it's the not. The strongest animals don't form groups. They act alone and need only themselves to survive. Those who betray themselves to fit into a group are pathetic. <laughs> There's no beauty in living like that. I want to be strong on my own, without a group. If there were only someone who would understand that to adult me. Already starting off deep. I want to show you something. Can you come to the villa? Oh, yeah. Maya told me to come here. Do 
Can I investigate shit? No, but there's a black hole there. Well, it's scratched on to look like a black hole. God, turning is slow. Can I get out? Cool, bump them out. And doors close on their own. Okay, cool. The city of no hope. Thief. Okay, whatever. This model. Is it this building? Maybe. I think it is. Da 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 da. The plans are. Well, that's German. I attempted to read it. The plan to rebuild Kitzenstad. An overview. Long history. History is thriving and border strong. Old and recent years in their 20s have begun leaving mass, causing concern. All right, it's to rebuild city, restore it to its former glory to help the Chinese investment firms. But it's German. Why are you helping? Okay. <laughs> oh god I hate my sinuses terrible the theme is revitalization the abandoned properties developed by Japanese corporations in 2008 have long been a problem but by repurposing them we can cut costs substantially and better realize our vision for a new Kitzenstad or Kitzenstad not sure how to pronounce that so this place didn't always suck. Our parents dreamed of this? Freedom. Mm, plants rebuild Katastan have suffered yet another major setback. As instability caused by the COVID-19 pandemic has reduced interest from foreign investors. Previous plans to jumpstart the town failed to materialize owing to the monetary instability caused by the 2008 global financial crisis, which forced the plan to involve Japanese corporations and financial institutions to be reconsidered. Two attempts to rebuild two failures due to the unfortunate external circumstances, Ketzenstad has struggled to bounce back with increased unemployment. The city council is considering ways to revitalize the economy by drawing skilled experts to the area. But as of yet, no effective measures have been implemented. Everyone's losing their futures. That's all adults are. A slave to the system. Wait, was this door open just a few seconds ago? Oh, well, that clearly says keep out, so I'm not going in there. Where are you, Maya? Okay, that door just closed behind me. Oh, great. It's locked. Ooh, hold on. Let me turn my volume up just a tad. Can I run? Nope, I can zoom. I'm trapped. I've always been trapped. Oh, there's little flowers in there. That's nice. Trash, trash. Post it notice. Notice of provisional meeting to all villa residents. We have received many inquiries about the management of this building after the recent news. We would therefore like to hold a meeting to explain our policies more formally. We hope we can uh, find a time to attend. Nope, can't make it. Well, at least it's good on building atmosphere. Maya? Oh, 
Oh god, baby dolls. Fucking dolls. Is that on? Hold on. I can't hear shit. I'm gonna turn it up too loud, and then y'all gonna hear everything through your mic. Through my mic. Ugh. Let's examine. Did Maya do this? CB. Cherry Blossom. That's Maya's signature. She's... Amazing. This city is a blank canvas. Begging for us to paint it with our hopes and dreams. I want to show the hidden side of girls. Their impulses. Their urges. What are you hiding inside? Don't worry about what people think. Be proud. <sighs> How could I ever be proud of myself? Let me do something right quick. Be right back. All right, now I am back. Now, can I turn the volume up? Is that a thing that's going to happen now? There we go. Mm, for a graffiti artist, spray paint and a black wall are all you need. In Captain's Stand, the walls of a particular apartment building are the canvas of several artists, with a new piece showing up every day. Social media star CB features her woke her woke her work here given her passion for flowers it's only fitting that her name is cb excuse me which is short for cherry blossom cb's art continues to captivate the hearts of the young so we reached out to her comments keep her eyes fixed on her new piece she had this to say all i'm doing is showing that the, what these girls feel on the inside but can't show on the outside if any of them connect with a girl in the art, it's probably they're, they're experiencing the same thing. CB added that the flowers she depicts on the young girls, she paints bloom out of the scars they bear. The flowers represent the girls overcoming past traumas, or at least their desire to do so. Everyone can see how talented she is. I couldn't be more different. That we're missing a head now? Shit. Yeah, its head fell off and now there's blood. Sleep? You still asleep? Sorry, I woke you up. Then to see you at your job. Still, you feeling good? You taking your meds? Sorry for your late reply. I fell asleep. Uh, how are you feeling? I'm okay. 
I can actually kind of get some rest now. I didn't mean to scare you or anything. Seriously, don't worry about it. All is good now. I'm gonna get up soon. <sighs> That's a relief. God, can I quick turn? Zoom in. Okay, down the hall. Because that's apparently where my attention was grabbed. Because it was somebody at this door. This door is nailed shut. Okay. I um, what the? What's with this place? Maybe I should come over here first. Child abuse and neglect in Katzestan. Or Katzestan. A recent statistical survey has shown that the rate of child abuse in Katzestan last year has nearly doubled. No, it's supposed to be past tense, so doubled. Should be a D on the end of that. That of the average and other developed nations in Europe. The recent economic strife, its resulting poverty, are thought to be the cause. My mom loved me. Nothing of interest? Okay, cool. Antidepressants. I've taken enough medication. Who does it? Who does an apartment like this? What the hell? I make it all the way to the bathroom. Oh, uh, look away if y'all have uh, phobias of bugs. What about you, Anita? Oh, thanks for asking. How are you doing? You didn't look so hot the other day. Oh, I'm fine. You don't have to worry about me. Well, obviously I'm gonna. Okay. Thinking my man's meds are good, but what about therapy? Too much to be honest. I mean, some of our classmates were hospitalized. Uh, you don't have to do this alone. I know. I'll let you know if I do anything. 
And those guys deserved it. They feel bad, you know, all of them. Is there anything over here? That's it. to show you something can you come to the villa you here i'm in the studio i am there are monsters here you good you okay teenage suicide continued at infamous building a rundown apartment complex in katastad has become known for its suicides with teenage girls jumping from its roof practically every year Despite repeat events, the building abandoned ever since the development and management company declared bankruptcy remains easily accessible. The young and unemployed are not deterred by the building's grim reputation, though, uh, with many continuing to enter it and young graffiti artists using it for their work. Meanwhile, local resident security concerns continue to grow. Oh, I see. Please, not Maya, too. She has been acting weird lately. <sighs> There's the fog. Oh my god. It's like it's like Silent Hill outside. Can I not go through these doors? Well, I'm obviously not going back through that one. Okay, so those are charms, like old school Japanese, like protection charms. Cherry blossoms bloom within the grasp of death. With most flowers, the rot sets in, then they fall. That's the price of new life. Not cherry blossoms, though. They bloom beautiful, they fall beautiful. That's how I want my life to be. Why is she not replying? Come on! I have to find her. Okay. That monster. It's gone, right? Where is the studio? Well, I, um, inside the fog of social media, solitude and anxiety in teenagers, all of the teenagers interviews said that they are ashamed of the risque selfies they posted online. They also claimed they experienced anxiety over not getting any likes on such photos. 
what all of the kids had in common was extremely low self-esteem. The greater their anxiety and lower their confidence, the more pronounced their reactions were to positive attention. The sense of fulfillment they experience after getting a like online is difficult for adults to comprehend. Furthermore, even when acknowledged, the teenagers still could not view their actions positively and quickly reverted to despair, seeking more attention to fill the void. Teenagers who are not yet psychologically mature to run the risk of experiencing this toxic quest for validation. Yeah, agreed. By the way, thought any more about college? I can't do it. You don't have to decide right away. So, once you're at college, are you not coming back here? No way, I'll come back occasionally. My parents would give me shit if I didn't come home to breaks. But uh, come home for breaks. But yeah, just give college some more thought, okay? I told you I can't go, it's not for me. Studying isn't my thing. I told you I would help you. It's fine. I can't do anything. Don't know what I'd do if I got in. That's not true. <laughs> You're way too hard on yourself. Be proud of who you are. Wait, what about these drawings you showed me? You could audit an art class. It could lead to a job. I'm not Maya, okay? Nobody said you were. Lee doesn't get it. Gotcha. So he don't really like this place. I get it. People in this town say graffiti as nothing but trash doodles. And my classmates about me might not be a bad idea to leave town actually the great thing about graffiti is the world's your canvas and as long as I'm with you I can have fun anywhere there's no way out Is this why I just came? Oh, it is. Okay, yeah. Gym box? Sketch a box? Are these uh, sketchbook. sketches? These aren't even finished. And they look this good. They seem happy. A new life. So full of life. Are you here? Why won't she reply? Where are you? 
I see. They didn't. The, the animation on the lips is still done for I'm Japanese. Crazy. So it throws it off for me. She jumped from the villa. Why did she have to die? Maya's dead? Wait. Maya's really dead? Uh, how? How could I forget that? Are you all right, Anita? Hello? You know, how can you have so much in a game so highly detailed, but yet it's still empty? As in, you can't interact with it. Like, none of th this here is just here to be a barrier, prevent you from exploring more. Uh, okay. Maybe, maybe I'm just complaining. Being an old man. Oh 
shit. Well done. Go a different way. Am I going crazy? Oh, what happens if I don't take that door? Okay, so they force me into a tunnel to take this door, which comes around, brings me over here, doesn't matter. Can't go through there. Can't go through here. I can do here or I can do that. Then this thing pops up right there. Okay. You're already dead. Now you're stuck in a loop. Can't leave till you find it.
What the fuck? Can't leave till you find the will to live. The hole's bigger. One, that's community room. So we're on the second floor, of course. Hallway oh, stairs. We even go up here? No. And apparently, I can only run when the game allows me to run. No, creepy dolls, of course. Run away. So this room is boarded up. Oh no, there's someone crying. Maybe I'm supposed to go in this room because it's funnel. It's all linear. Oh, somebody closed the door behind me. Yep, there's the baby's head. Children who turn trauma into tell, solitude and anxiety and teenagers part two. All of the teenagers surveyed suffer from deep psychological issues caused by past experiences and interestingly all of them conceptualized those issues as grandiose stories of sorts. One girl placed herself in the role of a tragic hero convincing herself that she was at the mercy of an abusive stepmother and that her living real mother existed elsewhere. Another girl viewed her childhood scars as stigmata, believing those scars would bloom into beautiful cherry blossoms. These convenient tales in the face of extreme adversity are born out of the deep desire to escape unbearable pain and self-hatred. The greater the trauma, the more grandiose the story surrounding it. Wait, it's back on? Oh, now the battery magically is recharged? What? Uh, 
How could somebody do this? Nah, you're so full of yourself. What is this shit? Your art sucks. What shit ever really saw? Have nothing better to do. Wait. I bet it was these guys. It's all your fault. It's all your fault. There was a hole here. It's gone now. Look at the face. Oh, there's the art place. Okay. Same room, and that's as far as I can go. Okay. Inside the fog of social media, all of the teenagers interviews said that they were ashamed of the- Oh, never mind. Already read that one. It's the same book. Cause this is just like before. Right. Still can't believe she's gone either. Somebody really is dead then. Anita, are you okay? You're getting enough sleep? Kinda. I'm taking some really good meds. Meds are good, but what about therapy? <sighs> Doesn't really do you're much so to be honest. To me, but you're leaving me behind. I really didn't tell you anything. No. All she talked about was a book she read recently. Still, I feel guilty for what happened, even if she didn't tell me anything. I should have known something was up. Did Maya really not say anything? Like, at all? So what'd you think of the book? The author killed themselves when they were young. Something beautiful from something tragic. It's kind of enchanting, yes. isn't it? I wonder what they were thinking right before they died. Anyway, I didn't think you'd share your thoughts in a letter. You really are shy, aren't you? I actually kind of like that, though. You write in a really flowery, passionate way. I can't, I can't wait, wait to read more. Goodness gracious. Mm. Belief in the wisdom. 
village of Ketistad. Or Ketis Ketan Ketanstad. Those who believe in the witch of Ketistad share many practices of modern Wiccans, such as praying for a bountiful harvest and goddess worship. What sets the practice apart is a slight blend of both Western and Eastern customs. As for what led to the mixing of customs, there is one rather creative theory. During the joint efforts of Japanese and German entrepreneurs and laborers in the 1930s to foster economic growth or prosperity, there was an exchange of cultural beliefs, giving rise to the belief in witches. Oh. That was a very lackluster explanation. Wonder what those guys are talking about. Fortune telling? A lot of people are getting into that. Huh. You don't believe in that stuff? Well, I think there's something real about it. My great grandmother was a fortune teller. I hear people here used to treat her like some sort of prophet. But they all eventually turned on my great grandmother. Guess you can predict other people's futures, but not your own. Look on the cards here in a second. I want to read this book over here. In Japanese culture, there has been a there has long been a sense of beauty and sacrifice. And harakiri, killing oneself by slicing one's stomach, is a prime example. Uh, the idea was that by taking your own life, you symbolically purge the world of your transgression, transgressions, and purify yourself. This concept can be confusing to many Westerners with young people, incorrectly assuming the Japanese yearn for a beautiful way to die. Modern Japanese people, however, do not view suicide in such a positively light anymore, and with the life they value is not biological variety, but rather a social one, when death is needed to protect that life. Huh. Okay, now I'll click the tarot. Tarot cards. <laughs> no point predicting my future. Anything new to click on in here? No. Anything over here? No. Okay, this is a very trashy room. It's all your fault. Everything. You're a heartless bitch. You stole my only friend. My place in this world. All of it. You don't even care. I'm invisible to you. I fucking hate you. You're not talented. You're not special. You call those shit stains art? You came out of nowhere, ruined everything. Fuck off, 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 fuck off. Get the fuck out of my life, you piece of shit freak. Jealousy?
Nope, this seems like the way to go, so I'm gonna come back here. I guess this is where I'm beckoned to go. Duxley Medical University School of Medicine uh, orientation. You're an incoming, dear incoming freshman. Welcome to Dutchland Medical University. Founded in 1709, DMU is one of Europe's oldest and most revered institutions. The state-of-the-art research facilities eagerly await your arrival. Orientation details: When September 24, 2021, 11:30 to 1300. Uh, School of Medicine Central Lecture Hall. Please wear a mask when attending. Oh, yeah, okay. This Close is for the college Amelie wants to go to. Uh, no, I'll just talk about what was a book she read recently. I still feel guilty, even if she didn't tell me anything. I should have known something was up. Uh, hey, Anita, you got a minute to talk? Here, what's up? You seem kind of out of it before. Is something bothering you? You can let me know. Thanks, but I'm fine. Damn, tell us how you really feel. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, I don't want to pry. Nah, it's okay. I don't mind. Hey, we should go shopping together sometime. I haven't left my house in what feels like forever. Plus, my brother's coming here. You right. Oh, right. You okay? Uh, yeah, I'm just going to try and avoid as much as possible. So, shopping, yeah? Uh, we can find something cute. We can find you something cute. Nah, I'm good. I'm not a fan of crowds. I... And nothing looks cute on me anyway. Stop talking like that. You're way too hard on yourself. You've got the looks. You just need to fight the right outfit. You just need to fight... Fight the right outfit. Now you need to find it. Find the right outfit. Too hard Ugh. on myself, huh? Amelie's the only one who thinks that. <sighs> Mm. December 23rd, 2020. I haven't been able to study since my brother came back for Christmas break. Uh, he's nice and doesn't interrupt my studies or anything. But I can't find him staring at me. I can't stand him staring at me. I know he is probably just messing with me back then, but I've been scared of him ever since. It's made me hate any guy looking at me. I can't believe other girls walk around school and, uh, and town showing so much skin. 21st, February 21st, 2021. I think I'm finally finding my study groove. My test scores are really good. I'm worried about how much my parents are fighting recently though. They are yelling at each other again today. I asked mom why, but she couldn't, but she wouldn't say. This is it, test day tomorrow. Mom told me I should be proud of myself since I've worked so hard, so I'm feeling great. She's not my real mom, but I know she loves me and I love her. Mom, I'm going to ace this test tomorrow for both you and dad. Oh, that's sweet. Wait, we're in, was it Emily's apartment? But she's messaging us on the phone. <gasps> oh no, the phone must be the bridge between this life and the afterlife. <gasps> October 17, 2020, I finally focused on my study, so I think I might pull an all-nighter. I won't be good for my, it won't be good for my skin. I can just hear people calling me troll and nerd. But I don't care. I have to make it to college in the city. Mom and dad are counting on me to do well. I'll make them proud of, by getting into my first choice. All right, time to hit the books all, till morning. Uh, November 9th, 2020. Dad was talking today, but how about how there was a plan to rebuild the town? They were going to use a bunch of funding from China it turned the town into something better, but everything got canceled due to COVID. <laughs> Excuse me, sure it would have been nice if it had gone through, but I just couldn't see 
it happened even if things had worked out not in this place it doesn't see it hasn't been special since i was little there's nothing to do the buildings are ancient it's a dump uh, my future isn't here it's in the city where college life is waiting for me everything's riding on my entrance exam next year i have to get out before my brother comes back i see is there anything in the closet Okay. All right, what's what's this here? August 24, 2021. I got some materials for my first choice in the mail today. I'm going to the college. I'm going to be a college freshman. I'm so so happy. <laughs> I still can't believe it. Mom and dad, I'm going I'm going to study my ass off and be the best and be the best daughter ever. Thank you so much for everything. Uh, September 22nd, 2021. Mom and dad are yelling at each other again. Okay. They're talking about they're talking about bankruptcy. Was it everything supposed to work out even without that rebuilding plan? So this means they're out of money, right? Does this mean I can't go to college? All that hard work was for nothing? No way. Don't leave me, mom. I can't stay here. I can't be stuck here with my brother. Mom just left September 23rd, 2021. She told me to get away, get out of the way. I have to get out of here. I want to disappear, but where would I go? This is all a bad dream. This is all a bad dream. This is all a bad dream. Only hated the way her brother looked at her. I bet she wants to leave to get away from all that. is in here hmm. young student found dead possible suicide at around 10 a.m september 25th 2020 around 10 a.m on the 24th a local resident reported seeing an 18 year old female high school student fall from the roof of katastad apartment building the girl was rushed to the hospital but was pronounced dead two hours later according to the school staff the girl was distraught over not being able to attend college due to troubles at home. Uh, no note or diary was found. A police still believe her death may be a suicide. Amelie's not like this, so right? What's down here? Maybe. Okay, yeah, let me let me go back down here because I forget, this is a walking simulator. <laughs> no to drugs in German. What the hell? 
peur. A witch's locker. What the hell? What the hell? Get out, you freak slut! You're our fucking weird! What a freak! Cocky huh? piece of shit! I guess I go this way. No? Oh, I guess I gotta walk down the hall of shame. Shut your whore mouth! Ugly! Get out, you freak! Okay. So yeah. Maya's not a freak. She's my friend. I was so confused and lost just then the whole time. This? The whole time. Completely lost and confused. Mm -mm -mm. I find it. Find what? Find it. Tell me what I'm looking for. Find it. Am 
I not supposed to pick that book up anymore? Reading C test. Positive. Hmm. Yo. <laughs> Look at the monster. I want to see what it looks like. Come on, just one time. Let it touch you. So tell me what you think about this game so far. How are the vibes? I mean, it's good, creepy vibes. And there's a lot of in depth emotional stuff in it. However, as a Silent Hill game, it fucking sucks. If it wasn't Silent Hill on the title, it'd be perfectly fine. That's, that's the only bad thing. It has nothing to do with Silent Hill at all, period. Nothing. None of it. It plays out like an indie horror game. But honestly, I wouldn't even do say that because an indie horror game is put together better than this. This is a shame for a AAA title. Yes, I know it's free and it was a free drop, but it's almost as if somebody got a hold of Unreal Engine, figured out how to put things together, and did the game. Is trying to be a PT type game, like it would. It's not even trying to be PT. It's literally copying every like walking simulator that's online right now. That's all the games that have been made so far. Like all the indie developers and stuff like that. That's what it feels like. That's what it plays out like. The bad ones, not the good ones. The bad ones. Like. PT was scarier than this. Okay, so this guy looks familiar. They're hurt. Where are you going? Yeah, that's right. Only. <laughs> Just watch. You'll see what I'm talking about. Just watch. Hmm? What's that? Oh. You like what you see? Come closer then. Hmm. Wait a sec. You two are from my class. Those glasses look good on you. She's so cute. Yeah. I couldn't help myself. Yeah. Feel free to stop by any time. You're always welcome. <laughs> Maya only ever cared about Amelie. She didn't see. I was invisible to her. How long has it been? Oh, it's only been like an hour. There's like an hour left of the game. So, yeah, and that's that's my point. It feels like it was so low budget that instead of actually animating animating out the cutscenes, they just grabbed the camera and just record it to people talking like a regular TV stuff this is because I like the older game so much <laughs> and and just want more of that uh, I'm not letting myself give this a chance or is it actually kind of bad and could have been better if it didn't have the Silent Hill name on it if it doesn't have the Silent Hill name on it it would be perfectly fine and okay if it did not have Silent Hill on it it doesn't even take place in Silent Hill it's in fucking Germany and they threw in random things of Japanese culture in it. That way I wouldn't have all these expectations. Yeah, that's my point. Like if they just didn't say like just come up with a new IP and called it something else, it would have been perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. But no, Konami is trying to milk the Silent Hill IP and they're doing a fucking terrible job at it. Okay, cuz look. That cussing just now. I know. Yeah. 
the way it felt off and weird yeah because it was low budget Almost like they're trying to recreate that weird stilted way the characters would talk in Silent Hill 1 and 2. I wouldn't even say that. I think it's more like they're just copying this trend of doing like the indie thing when they're not an indie studio. I maybe I, I'm hyper cynical cynical when it comes to stuff. So it could just be me. I, I would say play it for yourself and form your own opinion. I am not liking it, but I'm pushing through it. The library, so I'm back at school. Here we go, another cutscene. There's no beauty in any of this. Sorry, I was just thinking about something. How they use kind of like a digital distortion? Yeah, uh, that's a cheap uh, thing you can do in Adobe After Effects. It's literally a click drag filter onto a clip. I borrowed that book you Trust wanted. me, I've been using uh, DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci Resolve's got the exact same thing I in finished it. it, so it's all yours. In fact, DaVinci Resolve is free and it has that same glitch filter. In a letter. Yep. Read it when you get home, okay? I guess a symbolized technology. Yeah, she runs around with her cell phone. She gets messages on it. Yes, yeah, it was. Yeah, there's a whole bunch, big theme of cyberbullying. There's a big thing of uh, um, suicide and so on and so forth. That book. The Hexengard von Ketestad. Yeah, digital distortion doesn't scream Silent Hill. No, it doesn't. Rust and blood is what I want. Rust and blood. Yes, completely agree. No, this here is uh, sticky notes. Sticky notes of uh, all the thing names you recalled in school. Okay, is this the book? Yeah, okay. The witch hunt of Ketzenstadt in 1930s Germany. The town of Ketzenstadt attracted wealthy entrepreneurs and enjoyed a period of economic prosperity behind this that success though was supposedly a japanese woman who used her clairvoyance and mystical powers to guide the entrepreneurs so she would come to be known as the witch of the far east and would be greatly respected by the german people however in 1947 the entrepreneurs suffered great losses a large fire spread throughout the industrial park losing in the majority of their factories the witch of the far east who was hospitalized jumped off the roof of the hospital and killed herself the witch has been diagnosed with an unknown illness and may believe and many believe the fires pushed her over the edge some citizens however claim that the witch hunt was to blame they argued the witch's rise to prominence angered the mayor's party who used the chaos from the fires as a cover for her for murder there's no evidence to support this claim and many now view it as a mere conspiracy theory but the mayor's party did manage to regain influence in the town after the witch's death since then, citizens have started to believe any stroke of bad luck as a result of the witch's curse. Oh god, now they're bringing stupid chips. What the hell? Curse. Is that why I saw what I did before? Hmm. It's just that unsettling sensation I'm used to. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. So. Is that? Okay, I thought the shiny book was a, a book I should pick up. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's graphically fidelity, but shit, you can do this for free in Unreal. As an indie developer. Okay. 
Okay, that was a book I just read. Is there any other books in here? What else am I supposed to be picking up? Okay, what is over here on this table? And like, there's no running. I mean, there's running, but the game only allows you to run when you're supposed to be running. Like, I can't run right now until there's a chase scene where I'm being chased by the monster. Whatever that monster may be. Ketastad, the town to buy a curse, uh, cursed by a witch. Malicious magic to blame for city slump. Ketastad continues to see a rapid decline in the population. The birth rate is a mere 0.7 less than half of the German nation averages of 1.6. Miscarriages are also at 31% more than double the average, 15%. The economy is in shambles, and the once booming industrial city has fallen to revitalize itself. It has failed to revitalize itself twice. A number of researchers study the occult point to a witch as the cause of the economic downturn in Ketastad. The witch was a Japanese woman who used her clairvoyance to influence economic development in the town of the 1930s. Researchers believe she was hunted down and killed before her death. She is believed to have placed a curse in the town, stymieing its growth. All right, hold on. What did you say? Where are you at? No. Oh, okay. So you only run when it's time to run, like Shattered Memories. But I like that game. It made me ugly cry. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I never actually played Shadow Memories. A curse. So it is a curse. But why me? Oh, fuck. Why do I have to be cursed like this? A Japanese witch? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Find it. Find it. Tell me, is this your curse? Find it. Find what in a place like this? Uh, Japanese witch, 1930s? Is this anything to do with Silent Hill F? Maybe. Possibly. And if that's the case, I don't want anything to do with it. Oh God, wait. I take it back. I take it back. You take what back? Wait, can I? Okay, so that's... The hell? There's the book. What am I supposed to be looking for then? Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Hold on. Eve is suggesting they could be tied together. Yeah, I know. Mm hmm. What the fuck? Where? What the hell? So Emily might be dead. So I can look at chats and I look at notes, which I've already... Okay, cool. Where the fuck am I supposed to go to find what shit? Find it. Oh, what is this? Looks like there's space for a book here. Wait. I still wait I for I you, volume two. <sighs> I just saw a Japanese witch in 1930s. Yeah. That's that, that's what they're leading you. No way. Oh, there's a book called Cherry Blossoms, which was her friend's name. Now can I leave? Can I leave now? Or is there something else? Oh, now I can leave. Thank you for letting me continue on this walking simulator. Oh, no, look at there. A long linear hallway. Another one. Jesus. I thought I was going to at least get to solve some puzzles, but I haven't solved a single puzzle yet or come across any. It's like that other school. Why does this always happen? I've never seen a like that before. 
Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, right, Anita. You left me on red, so I was worried. Sorry, I was just thinking about Maya. Not sure if you know this, but Maya was bullied at school. I know. But she said she was okay. I figured I shouldn't push the issue. Then it was too late. Why didn't she say anything before she died? I wish she had talked to me. Maybe she didn't see me as a friend. You know, maybe you could have just condensed all that. To like one message. Alright, what's behind me? Oh, nothing. I'm not supposed to go this way. Okay. That's because the handprints get worse over here. Yay, let's go. Is that it? My locker. Why is it locked? Is there something I don't want to see? It won't open. Wait, what's my? This is. How am I gonna brute force this shit? All right, cool. Hold on. Jesus. All right, cool. It's going to be over 10,000 combinations. So y'all ready for this? Okay. Whatever, hold on. Maybe there's a clue here somewhere. Because I'm pretty sure. There's a one. Hold on. Maya's locker. No, it's not here. It wasn't here before either. Okay, so there's the characters. There, there's you, the main character with the glasses there. Should I point at her so to clearly know that you're talking about her? Okay, so it was a one, two. Finally, the first puzzle. One, two, zero. Three. Zero, one, two, three. Okay. Okay, so there's only so many combinations you do with these four numbers. All right, cool. Time to get all scientific on it. Okay, zero, one, two, three, two, three, no. Okay, so we go up one here. That leaves me with one and three, so one and three, no. Uh, change this one to three and then a one. Okay. So change this one to three. I know what's inside. Zero three one two. And I can't look away. Here it is. What's this letter? Was it inside the book? Remember when I said. I wanted to live like a cherry blossom. To 
be beautiful and dignified for a fleeting moment, simply by letting go of life. Daring to bloom, knowing it won't last. And so falling in vivid color. I wish I could live like that. I want to experience true beauty. If only for a moment. I met someone who made me feel different. He showed me a whole new world. Gave me hope. I honestly thought he could help me find a new me. I felt it with all my heart. But people didn't understand us. Didn't want that from us. <clears throat> In the end, they took my hope from me. They took him away. Beep. Turn the page. People. People who can't achieve beauty seek comfort in others. They fear anyone different. Hate them. Try to tear them down. I can't take much more of this. I wish you and I had... I wish you and I could run away together. Amelie. Just me and you. Maya. She was asking Amelie for help. But I just. Prepare to run again.
Anyways, so that way I made a left last time. I know it's behind me now, so that means wherever I go, it will not be there. Oh, it's coming behind me. Okay, cool. Now I can go straight. Those lockers were dead in. Forgive me, Maya. Anyways, shit, I made a wrong left turn. 
Oh. Oh God. Coat. Got on my mic. As you were already in a loop, though. That she wanted you to find. But here you are again. Now you're back. What? But I jumped off the building. Again. There was a hole here. It's gotten bigger now. All right, what's around here? Say to replace. How lewd! I know, right? Look at it. It's a very, very big, gushing hole. Ugh. On February 4th, I ended up heading to Tarif for the villa. Couldn't help but think of the girl who jumped to her death last year. Actually, a lot of girls kill themselves here. All teens, supposedly. Now, this place is a famous spot to pit for people to kill themselves. Looking down from the roof, I could see how high up I was. The thought of a light breeze sending me flying made me feel a little queasy. Uh, were they not scared? What was going through their heads? Were they jumping away from something or to something? A moist cave, if you would. Yes, a very moist cave. Alright, so what's over here? A loser, sticky notes. See, I want my rust back. Take the sticky notes away. I want my rust. No exit. Okay. No future. Six, 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 which, whatever. Fugitive? Or is that, is that what I says? Fugitive? It's too late. 
Babies. Don't you dare go Don't outside. You dare go outside. Not... Is that Maya screaming or is still her mother? No, can't go in there. Oop, what's in here? No future. Okay, what's in here? No hope. No, this is getting kind of creepy. Oh, can't go that way. No exit. Okay. Future, it's your fault. It's your fault. Silent Hill phenomenon. The suicide rate has increased around the world, in large part due to the struggles brought on by the COVID-19 pandemic, with countries still unsure how best to handle the issue. These trying times have also given rise to a strange phenomenon in many areas. Those affected suddenly claim to see fog, even on fair weather days, and lose consciousness shortly after. What? Wait, hold on. What the fuck is this? Yeah, I know. Hold on. Let me read it. This has come to be known as the Silent Hill Phenomenon, named after a similar event that occurred in an epitomous U.S. town. The first to propose a theory explaining why this could be happening is Dr. XXX, a social psychologist at XXX University, who had the following to say on the matter. To one who is psychologically unstable. Hold, hold on, let me freaking go back from the top. Wait a second. <laughs> the Silent Hill phenomenon. Suicide rate has increased around the world in large part due to struggles brought on by the COVID-19 pandemic, with countries still unsure how best to handle the issue. These trying times have also given rise to a strange phenomenon in many areas. Those affected suddenly claim to see fog, even on fair weather days, and lose consciousness shortly after. This has come to be known as the Silent Hill phenomenon, named after a similar event that occurred in a eponymous, ep ep eponymous U.S. town, whatever, the E word. U.S. town. The first to propose a theory explaining why this could be happening is Dr. XXX, a social psychologist at XXX uh, University, who had the following to say on the matter. E words. Yeah, words. E words. <laughs> to one who is psychologically unstable, fog represents uncertainty and sensory illusions. When in a state of high stress, one's vision may become obscured or tunnel as if one is wandering through a dense fog or mist. Societal uncertainty and ap or apprehension about the future manifests as fogs, thus blurring the lines between illusion and reality. As time goes on, we are seeing more and more cases of the Silent Hill phenomenon. In response, Dr. SXX calls for a rapid rebuilding of society, as well as a stronger emphasis on counseling and mental health care for the young. That's the stupidest fucking thing I've ever heard. Oh well, let's continue walking down this a hall simulator. Oh wait, no future, no exit. Oh no, so all these doors that make it seem like I have a way to go are actually pointless. Oh no, the, the phone's glitching out. Uh. This is... Wait, me and my mom lived here. This is our living room. December 29th, 2011. 
I finally lost touch with him. I never see him again. I thought I found my happily ever after, but it was all a dream. However, I haven't lost everything. I still have my children. My cute little angels who light up my life. Wait, was there another one? No, okay. Man, I can't even put my thoughts together. I know, right? It's that bad. Ugh. Like, I get it. I understand. This is where Silent Hill is known for its dense fog and not weird cult shit. And also cold would happen here. Yeah, it takes place in recent times. Yeah. So, I get it. I get it. I get it. Yep, yep, yep. <sighs> okay, where was I? Oh, this is this supposed to be her and her mom? Her mom's face is blurred. Like, on purpose. Wait, I just came from the living room. <gasps> oh no, I'm in another loop. And so they compare the dense fog to the mental strain of dealing with COVID. And because of the mental strain, people are passing out and shit. Well, yes, the mental issues in general that was compounded by COVID. But yeah, pretty much. Pizza! Yay! Inspect. Why won't you listen to a damn thing I say? Okay. A new man showed up to my place today with pizza. Children definitely need a father, but they still won't talk take to him. He looked annoyed when he left. I hope he doesn't hate me. My daughter drew a picture of our family. We're smiling and holding hands. I wish she would have drawn him as well. Maybe she doesn't realize he might join our family. She is slower than other kids her age. Oh, that's fucked up. I'm sure she'll catch up and pass him soon enough. I know how to raise a child. I'm a good mother. I'm nothing like the heartless bitch who raised me. I wouldn't fill my children with hate and fear. But you do. Yeah, mental issues being compared to the fog that just... Hold on. It just creeps in and takes over is how I look at it, how I took it. Yeah, you're right. <gasps> Pitcher. Wait, did I get shorter? The room is getting the rooms are getting bigger. Mm, March twelfth. He showed up again with a smile on his face and a pizza in his hand from the new place he was raving about. My daughter hated the pizza, though. She's extremely picky. I should probably teach her to eat things she doesn't like. I know I was forced to eat things I hated when I was a kid, but I guess it has to be done. The kids finally blew up in front of him today. He was exhausted from work and said he just wanted to relax. He makes me feel so good, but I can't do the same for him. Maybe I'm not strict enough with them. We need him for a happy life. And I need them to realize that. I know it's probably a little harsh, but maybe if they don't see the light for a while, they'll finally see the light in him. What? April 12th, 2012. He told me the banging on the closet door was making it hard for him to unwind. If they would just be quiet for a little bit, everything would be fine. What's wrong with him? He doesn't visit as much as he used to. If I don't figure something out, I may never see him again. Okay, well. Oh, 
what the fuck everything seems to be doing well now that i we've been going out on dates uh he was worried about my kids so he bought them a bunch of books and toys they should be enough to keep them occupied right uh, i've been going out so much lately that i've left the place in a bit of a mess i should clean it but by the time i get back i have no energy i've got contacted by the child welfare center I guess some noisy bitch or asshole in my building reported hearing a child crying at night in my place. The fuck they know. The fuck do they know? He wasn't called. He hasn't called me so much lately. Am I destined to be alone? Everyone else, everyone else is out enjoying life while I'm working my ass off raising kids. Why am I the fuck, fucking bad guy? If I hadn't had children, maybe I would... Uh, I'd be planning my summer vacation with my friends right now. Nothing matters anymore. I'm just crawling through life. Crawling through life. I know what's going on in the closet, but I can't look. I just want to be happy. What's wrong with that? I'm done. <laughs> what's going on here? And so mom puts her kids in a closet so he, can, so she can get her back blown out for money. He said she had kids. Yeah, pretty much. Stop. Is there a kid in there? Let a kid out. Huh. What the? Miss Krista Planet, we have reached out to you repeatedly, but have yet to receive a response. We take this we take this to mean you have no intention of rem re remedying this issue. You are in violation of German Civil Code Article 1631, Section 2. Accordingly, the federal court has instructed us to take your children. Uh, should you have any objections to this, please contact us as soon as possible. Frank Fisher. In Child Center. Holy fuck, what the hell? Oh, there was a hole here. It's smaller now. Boy found dead in refrigerator. Mother arrested August 4th, 2012. A boy was found dead today in a refrigerator in the home of his 41-year-old mother, Person A, who was arrested by local authorities for hiding the body. Person A claims to have locked her son in the closet for more than a day to punish him, and when she noticed he wasn't moving the next morning, she hid his lifeless body in the refrigerator. Investigators are conducting an autopsy to determine the cause of death. See, this is the shit I'm so used to for Silent Hill. According to the investigation, person A's daughter ran to a neighbor's house to call the police and report her mother for neglect. When detectives arrived at the house, they discovered her brother's body in the refrigerator and arrested the mother after she confessed to her crime. Nah, there wasn't a skin cat in that bridge.
curse. You always said you'd be better off without me. You're not my daughter. You're burdened. A curse for my mother. Mother. You're wrong, Mom. I am your daughter. Yeah, the music's all right. I think I'll play for the music. I'm cursed. God damn, how long does this fucking game go on for? Why am I seeing this room here in the villa? I tried so hard to forget this place. I just, okay, I just read that one. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, oh, fuck, here we go again running. Okay. Which is behind two or three. I can find two or three. I'm sorry, Mom. So once you find them all, the monsters stop chasing. Oh God! Am I gonna be alone forever? And this guy, VIP for the win. I'm subscribing to him. Oh my God! Thank you so much. Wait, now what? What the fuck? 
The hell? This game ain't over yet? February 21st, we've been really absorbed in my work lately. I decided to paint the girl who jumped off the villa roof. And I like to think they left this place for something better. I think I might finally be here from be free of my despair because I've never felt this inspired. I'm going to be to put every last bit of myself into this piece. March 4th. <laughs> my roof piece is almost done. I might actually be crowning achievement. It might actually be my crowning achievement. But once this is done, then what? Uh, do I have it in me to come up with something even better? Yeah. How much longer can I enjoy the fame and praise I get now? Is there despair and disappointment waiting for me right around the corner? The sadness that gripped me before has clawed its way back into my mind. I guess it was always there. Uh, who knows how often it'll show up. The thought that makes me makes my skin crawl. Maybe I should just end things while I'm still happy. Go out on a good note. I wish I could talk to someone about this. Oh. Well. May 13, 2022 at approximately 1 p.m. on the 12th. Popular graffiti artist CB Mayo Echo Hindenburg was found. Wait, her last. Okay was found collapsed on the grounds of the apartment's building in uh, Ketzenstad. She was pronounced dead at the hospital. The death of the 18-year-old girl comes as a shock and not only local community members, but also to all those who were familiar with her work. Georgie's believe that the cause of death may be suicide, but given her popularity and lack of warning signs to her peers, they have not ruled out foul play and are proceeding with a full-scale investigation. Wait. She killed herself half a year ago? And that means I've been here this whole time. Mm. What'll it take for you to forgive me? Please end this. Just let me die. Oh, this is the end right here. At least it should be. Is this me? When did she draw this? I want to show the hidden side of girls. Their impulses. Their urges. What are you hiding inside? Don't worry about what people think. Be proud. So, she did notice me. Okay, wait, hold on. Is this the same thing? Yeah. Okay. Dear Lord, this game is so drawn out. I just wanted to end. I was so happy when my mom liked the first picture I drew. what happens when y'all actually get out and talk to each other Emily, what should I do
Anita, what's up? I'm sorry, Amelie. I'm such a piece of shit. I had no idea she'd do that. What are you talking about? Did something happen? I thought I was invisible. That I didn't matter. No matter what anyone said. I didn't listen. Anita? But you and Maya, both of you did see me. I should have figured that out sooner. Anita, wait. Where are you right now? Thank you, Amelie. You were always there for me. I'm... I'm going to go apologize to Maya now. Wait! Anita! Calm down. Just listen to me. I just... Seeking a connection with others is a sign of weakness. It's running away. The strongest animals don't form groups. They act alone and need only themselves to survive. Those who betray themselves to fit into a group are pathetic. There's no beauty in living like that. But I don't really mind. I just want someone to understand me. For those I love, and for those who love me, I want to keep moving forward and never look back to 18-year-old me. It was pretty good. It's not Silent Hill. It has nothing to do with Silent Hill, despite the lackluster excuse that it used to tie it in. Yeah, it was neat. I liked it. It was good that they, they bring in issues like this into, you know, mainstream. But it's not Silent Hill. I don't even know why they called it Silent Hill. They could literally could have called it this something else. Kind of scary leaving my hometown, but I'll be fine. I have my best friend with me. Loneliness creeping to my skin, endless pain, dropped in vain. Yeah, just drop Silent Hill from the times. From the title, you're fine. Yeah. They literally could have just called it the short message and it would have been fine. But no, Konami is writing on the fact that they're trying to milk the Silent Hill IP. Yeah. 
Yeah, Solid Hill and the idea of being stuck in your own personal hell. I get that side of it, but it's... There's more to it because there was an actual physical, tangible cult involved. There were gods. You literally fought gods and shit. It's super deep and glad they supported through it. Yeah, sort of through that message and yeah. Like, yeah, it's, it's not Silent Hill. I get it. Where's the creepy cult shit? Yeah, there's a, supposed to be a fucking cult. Yeah, who's birthing God? And which God is it now? There's like 13 gods. Yeah, he would have. He would have done it justice. Kojima definitely would have done it better. 